Right, today's job is I've got to overboard the court sides uh, because they need to go a bit lower because you can see here it just needs to be a bit lower down so I'm just going to put half inch on and then um, that all the way around so it should cover all of the wood as well at the bottom so it will come down to the frame. Right, so that's my job today, let's get going. Alright, that's all ready for the morning. Right guys, that's the end of this day. So today has been a bit of a bitty day. So what happened today was uh, I'd come to do the conservatory and it needed to come down a tiny bit by only about half an inch. So I've reboarded the sides. I had to do a little bit of extra prep work today just to get everything where I wanted it to be. So um, I'll be skimming it all tomorrow. Uh, I've got a couple of stop beads that I need to put on, but I'm really happy with how it's looking now. I think it's gonna it's gonna look bob on. This morning I was a bit worried about some of the areas that they were gonna match up nicely, but it's all come together now. So first thing I did was um, I had to take the board off the box cutter. Uh, it needed some insulation going in it. So then I started overboarding the ceiling that was already there. I cut all the boards for that. And then I needed to shoot off and go and get some bonding just to fill the tops basically just because it wasn't worth me using extra board to do the tiny bit at the top especially with there being plasterboard there it made more sense just to put some bonding at the top and then I've just put some stop beads on I've actually tried a new method uh, of using the mitre grip for putting the beads on which is working really well I'm really happy with it it's a lot easier than using um, screws to put stop beads up especially um, in conservatories because you haven't really got that many fixings and you don't want to be putting long screws in especially with stop beads because they tend to bend and warp so this is an absolute ideal way of doing it is using the mitre glue um, I've seen a few people do it and I thought it was about time that I tried it out and yep, yeah, I'm really happy with how it works. So that's the end of the first day, so tomorrow I'll skim it. Right, cheers guys. Hey everyone, so it's the next day, so I'm just, I've am put all the stop beads on now. Now I'm just going to chuck some skim on them. Right, I'm going to do a couple of opposites, the middle, and then I'll finish the off with the second hit later.
right, the next tip will be in a minute. Just gonna have a quick bit of dinner. Use my plastic trowel to slightly curve it just down the lines. This is where the the carter is brilliant. It's just uh, it just smooths it lovely. But yeah, I'm just going to put the final trowel on it now. Um, yeah, looking really nice now. The weather's coming in a bit now, but I'm happy with how it's all turned out. The stop leads really helped to uh, keep the lines looking nice and straight. There we go then, that's the end of that conservatory. 
it's gone really well it all looks really good now it's all nice and clean been a fairly long day getting it all finished and getting it cleaned the cleaning is what always takes the longest with conservatories it takes that little bit longer to get sorted so but I'm happy with how it's all gone ready now for the electrician to go in and do it his bit thank you very much for watching guys if you like these videos please like and subscribe I drop these videos every Tuesday if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments but yeah thank you very much for watching guys I'll catch you in the next video bye